Hello everyone. Good morning to all of you. Am I visible, audible? Give me a minute to confirm if I'm clearly visible, audible. I will start the class ahead. Just a second. It will hardly take few seconds to confirm. If you can see me, okay. I hope it is working. Yes. So a very very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all for today's session. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdev here, and today I am here to continue my series of virology. So we will start with DNA viruses, right? So okay. Uh, yesterday we have started DNA viruses. Actually, we have just in the middle of the first virus, pox virus. So we will continue the pox virus. In the first five minutes, we will revise the pox virus, and definitely after that, I will come on adenovirus, parvovirus, herpes virus today. So today we will try to finish all DNA viruses in two hours, right? And from tomorrow onwards, we are going to start RNA viruses, right? So can I start? Okay. So as we all know, there are six DNA viruses in our syllabus. So the mnemonic we have repeated many times. It is double H A triple P, right? Double H A triple P. So it is hepatina, herpes, adeno, H H A triple P. There are three P: parvo, papova, pox. So I will start with pox. I will start with pox. We know the basics. These all are DNA viruses. Pox is the largest one. Parvo is the smallest one. All of them are double stranded except parvo, which is single stranded. These are the basics we already completed. All have icosahedral symmetry except pox, which is having a complex symmetry. So, the, with this basic knowledge, with the classification, with general virology, we have started. We should move on. We should move on individual viruses. Now, yesterday I asked you to make a comparative table between all the viruses in this way. You can see the comparative table between all the viruses in these headings. You should take your notebook and pen and start making. So, I ask you to make the comparative table between three pox viruses. I am going to teach you three pox viruses. In pox virus family, okay, the morphology is same for all of them. Classification I have told you. From the classification, I am going to teach you three pox viruses. So, variola. Vaccinia and Molluscum contagiosum. So these are the three main pox virus in your syllabus from which maximum MCQs or questions come. So you should make a comparative table between them. Tell me the reservoir of all three. Tell me the mode of transmission of all three. Tell me the pathogenesis of all three. Tell me the name of the disease which they cause. So of course variola causes smallpox. We have seen that. Molluscum contagiosum causes Molluscum contagiosum. Vaccinia do not cause any disease. It is an artificial virus. Okay, I am coming on that. Lab diagnosis is the same for all of them. Treatment, there is no treatment available. Only supportive care is available. Right. So, under these headings, you should make a comparative table for all viruses. This is for the first virus. I am telling you pox virus. The three type of pox virus. Let me start with pox viridae. So, yesterday I know we have completed pox viridae. But we have not done the MCQs. Right. So, last lab diagnosis and M treatment and MCQ portion is remaining. So let me start from the beginning. In the first five minutes, I will give you a brief review fast fast of the headings from morphology till disease. Then we will finish lab diagnosis. We will finish treatment. We will do the MCQs on pox virus and move to the next virus. After that, the next virus will be, I guess the next virus will be adenovirus. So this is the strategy. And after that, the third virus, I will start the third family is the parvovirus. So in this way, we will move on from one virus to another and complete all DNA viruses today. I want thumbs up from everyone. Should I start? Okay. So the first family is pox viridae. So in morphology, what do you mean by morphology? Can you see here? Morphology. Morphology. So in morphology, there are fixed headings. You tell me in morphology, you tell me the shape of the virus, the genetic material of the virus, whether the virus is enveloped or non-enveloped. What is the symmetry of the virus? And inside the host cell, virus replicate either in the cytoplasm or, the, or in the nucleus. Where does it replicate? So you always tell me these five things in the morphology. So morphology always have five columns. One, two, three, four, five. So headings under the morphology are fixed. In all the viruses under morphology, I am going to teach you five things. So what are the five things? Shape of the virus. Genetic material of the virus. So of course you will say Ma'am, genetic material to DNA. Hoga, no? These all are DNA viruses. But single stranded DNA or double stranded DNA. Whatever. You have to write it. So shape, genetic material. Envelope or non-envelope. Right. Envelope or non-envelope, right? Symmetry. Always tell me the, out of the three type of symmetry. What are the three symmetry? Icosahedral, helical, complex and last replication. Now the students, those who have attended my general virology lecture for them, this is going to be easy. Morphology is going to be very easy because you already know in general virology, I have taught you everything. But you can enumerate virus wise one by one. 
तो इन पॉक्स वायरस यू टेल मी वॉट इज द शेप द शेप इज ब्रिक ब्रिक का मतलब होता है ईंट हिंदी में इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी सो दिस इज ब्रिक शेप कैन यू सी द शेप इज ब्रिक दिस इज द डायग्राम सो दिस इज ब्रिक शेप राइट सो शेप इज टिपिकल इस पर बहुत बार एम सी आता है टू टाइम्स पी वाई क्यू ऑलरेडी आस्ट ऑन द शेप ऑफ पॉक्स वेरिडी इन वेरियस एग्जाम्स वन लाइनर क्वेश्चन और इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन नॉवर्डेज कैन ऑल्सो कम दिस इमेज विल कम इन यूर एग्जाम एंड फोर फोर वायरस विल बी दियर इन द ऑप्शन सो दिस इज अ डायग्राम ऑफ पॉक्स वायरस एडिनो वायरस पार्वो वायरस सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई सो द शेप इज ब्रिक शेप लाइक अ रेक्टेंगल राइट राइट ओके वॉट इज द जेनेटिक मटीरियल ऑल डी एन ए वायरस आर डबल स्ट्रेंडेड एक्सेप्ट पार्वो वायरस सो इट इज नॉट अ पार्वो वायरस ना सो जेनेटिक मटीरियल इज अफकोर्स इट इज डबल स्ट्रेंडेड डी एन ए ओके इट इज अ इनवलप वायरस सो देर आर सिक्स डी एन ए वायरस ना वॉट आर दे एच एच ए पी 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 आउट ऑफ दिस सिक्स आई विल डिवाइड थ्री प्लस थ्री थ्री आर इनवलप थ्री आर नॉन इनवलप फर्स्ट टेल मी द नॉन इनवलप वन वॉट आर द नॉन इनवलप वन द नॉन इनवलप वन इज पाप P A P these three are non enveloped one so it is adeno a to adeno hai the two p kya hai the two p kya hai one is parvo one is papova pox virus is enveloped okay so enveloped mein kon kon aa gaye aapke one is pox this one is pox and these two h these are enveloped so pox virus is enveloped one so you have to learn it now learn all or learn individual virus whatever symmetry as i have told you from the six dna viruses h h a p p p Except pox virus, the remaining five have icosahedral symmetry, and pox virus have complex symmetry. There is no DNA virus with helical symmetry. There are three type of symmetry. So the symmetry is complex. Now, among the six DNA viruses, again let me write H H A P P P. All of them, except pox virus, divide in nucleus of the host. They do biosynthesis, replication in the nucleus of the host. But pox virus is an exception. It do replication in the cytoplasm of the host. So see. all the things i have told you in all viruses not only in pox virus i want thumbs up from everyone so i want thumbs up from everyone you recognize the shape you recognize the genetic material whether it is enveloped or non enveloped what is the symmetry and where does it replicate give me a thumbs up priyanka vignesh kumar shilpa give me a thumbs up you got it and others who are watching me live i don't know their names give me a thumbs up come on should we proceed okay in the morphology only shape ko thoda sa describe karo of course it is a brick shape but inside the brick shape what is the shape of the capsid can you see this is the capsid in the capsid you can see this is a dumbbell shape dumbbell this is a dumbbell dumbbell shaped capsid so the shape of the capsid is dumbbell right and there are two lateral bodies on either side on either side there are two lateral bodies and inside which double stranded dna is present so that's it that's it it is the largest dna virus so smallest is parvo largest is pox not only largest dna virus it is the largest overall virus तो लार्जेस्ट ओवरऑल वायरस भी है राइट सो वी नो दिस थिंग आल्सो, राइट ये इतना लार्जेस्ट है इट इज दैट मच लार्जेस्ट दैट इट कैन बी सीन अंडर लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप यूजुअली वायरसेस आर नॉट सीन ऑन लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप वायरसेस आर सीन ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप बट इट इज द लार्जेस्ट डीएनए वायरस सो इट इज द ओनली वायरस व्हिच कैन बी सीन अंडर लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप राइट बिकॉज़ इट इज लार्जेस्ट राइट ओके सो लेट मी कम ऑन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस फैमिली सो आई एम टीचिंग यू अ फैमिली द पॉक्स विरिडी पॉक्स विरिडी Viridi. It is a family. It is a family. It is having many viruses. So the classification is in front of you, right? This is the classification. It is divided into four subfamilies: Orthopox, Parapox, Molluscio Pox, and Yatta Pox, right? Under these subfamilies, these are the members. So total, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, six members here, three here, one here, and two here. So total them. How many members are present in this family? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. so i guess 12 members are present in this family so you should learn the name of all 12 members but if you are not learning it's okay it's okay all of them are pox virus the important one which are in your syllabus which you can't skip out of this 12 only 3 causes disease in humans humans so i am interested in human disease right so we are not uh, studying here veterinary course na so the veterinary doctor will study the remaining one so so for the remaining one you should know the names so cow pox will cause disease in the cow monkey pox will cause disease in the monkey buffalo pox will cause in the buffalo orf will cause disease in the orf bovine will cause disease in bovine tana ya bhai ye sab animals ke hain humans ke sirf teen hain only three of humans so number one variola number two vaccinia and number three molluscum contagiosa so please study these three members of this family in detail these are the three pox viruses which cause disease in human you me a thumbs up Should we study them? Okay, we should study them. Okay, so the important one which causes disease in human are variola, 
vaccinia and molluscum contagiosum so i ask you to make the comparative table between these three right so let me start with variola variola it is a virus which will cause smallpox so smallpox virus that the reservoir is human transmission is respiratory route so it is going from one person to another this is the person having smallpox this person is a known case of smallpox like covid only it is the respiratory route is there the mode of transmission is respiratory so this person will do cough and cold so in cough and cold the virus will come in the air in the form of the aerosols aerosols and from these aerosols it will move to another person via inhalation via inhalation so mode of entry is inhalation the route is respiratory so it is entering inside respiratory route via the respiratory route it will go inside the respiratory tract of this person it will reach the lungs of this person it will absorb it will go in the blood this is known as primary viremia first time it is going in the blood so primary viremia hoga viremia mia means it is small quantity of virus which is there in the blood right because small quantity of virus small quantity of virus is entering in this human going in the lung from lung it is going in lymphatic and blood and it is causing primary viremia from blood this will go this will go in the reticulo endothelial system of this person that is liver spleen macrophages and virus will divide after that it will again come in the blood it will produce secondary viremia and after causing secondary viremia it is present in blood it can go throughout the body in all systems so virus loves skin it will go in skin or dermal tissue and causes lesions in the skin give me a thumbs up you got it you got it say yes or no just a second okay i guess you all got it okay so that is the thing that is the thing so inhalation say virus is going inside the virus enters the upper respiratory tract go in the lymphatics from the upper respiratory tract it will absorb in the lymphatic go in the blood it will cause first primary viremia and then it will be it will be uh, replicate in reticulo endothelial system and then it will cause secondary viremia and then it will go to the dermal tissue and causes lesions the lesions are known as pox so the same thing is written here also you can see virus enters via upper respiratory tract go in the lymphatics causes primary viremia then go in rec reticulo endothelial cells then multiply there then cause secondary viremia and then come in the body come in the blood again and go to all body organs and cause the disease these are the skin lesions each lesion is known as one pox so multiple pox are there multiple pox are there it is a typical case of small pox you can see right so small pox is there you all can see so describe the disease name the disease pathogenesis ho gaya name the disease the name of the disease is smallpox nowadays there is no smallpox after 1980 we have not found even a single case of smallpox in the entire world so after 7th may 1980 7th may 1980 was the day we declared world a smallpox free world so we don't have this virus in the world now except in the laboratory we have this in one of the laboratory so the causative agent is so any time the accident can happen and it can come again in the world but yeah currently there is no live case in which so virus is not present in the host it is present in the lab only give me a thumbs up so it is not there nowadays but before 1980s it was very common and it was known as smallpox chota chechak in hindi so initially the person have flu like symptoms fever cough cold followed by followed by the person have rash followed by person have rash this is the rash so there is a typical thing there is a typical thing the typical thing is that rash start from mouth so rash start from mouth from mouth it go to the periphery it go to the periphery everywhere then it go to the trunk it go to the limbs and it involves the entire body it involves the entire body it involves entire body can you see this this is the pox these are known as pox these are known as pox the soles and palm palm and soles are also involved palms and soles are also involved only one thing is spared that is axilla But the the pox are not present in the axilla of the person so axilla is spared there is no lesion in the axilla we have discussed this so that is the differences between chicken pox chicken pox mein axilla involved hota hai but the palms and soles are spared here palms and soles see the diagram i have put the diagram specially of the palm and sole so palm and sole is involved in small pox chicken pox mein disappeared and here axilla is spared chicken pox mein axilla is involved so you have to see the differences between them So complete body. Now there are various stages. What are the various stages? The various stages. So initially there is a papule, then macule, then pustule, then vesicle, then scar. 
so these are the various stages right so first all the papules are formed these all are papules then they all will convert into macule then they all will convert into pustule together then they all will convert into vesicle vesicle means contain fluid inside them they all will burst and they all will convert into scar so they all will be in the, so all the lesions in a body at one time they will be in one stage so if you see currently either all will be pustule all will be macule all will be uh, papule like this you got my point so there is no pleomorphism here you will find only one type of lesion at one time there is no pleomorphism in smallpox right in contrast to chicken pox so at one time some will be papules some will be macules some will be pustules some will be vesicles some will be scar so multiple stages at one time so pleomorphism is seen in chicken pox so we want to differentiate the rash of smallpox and chicken pox give me a thumbs up so these are the points of the rash you can see here so we have discussed most of the points here we have already discussed the differences between chicken pox and smallpox most of the points we have seen okay as i have told you the rash is starting from the mouth and moving towards the periphery this 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 configuration is known as centrifugal centrifugal means away from the center the center is the mouth it is away from the center this is known as centrifugal so centrifugal is seen in smallpox but if you talk about um, chicken pox it is opposite the rash start from the periphery and come towards the mouth so in chicken pox it is centripetal so you can see rash here is centripetal in chicken pox but here it is centrifugal here the rash is pleomorphic multiple stages at one time but in smallpox it is non pleomorphic here if you it contains uh, uh, fluid now the the vesicle so if you burst one of the vesicle inside it it is multilocular it is multi compartment multilocular means multi compartment but the rash in chicken pox if you burst the vesicle there is uni uni compartment so here it is multi compartment so it is multi locular in smallpox but in chicken pox it is uni locular right in smallpox you can see there is no inflammation you can see this is a vesicle this is a vesicle but around the vesicle only plain skin is there no inflammation is there but if it is chicken pox around each vesicle there is red color inflammation red color inflammation so it is looking like in chicken pox i am saying chicken pox mein kaisa dikh raha hai चिकन पॉक्स में इट इज लुकिंग की नीचे रेड है उसके ऊपर लिजन्स हैं रेड सो इट इज लुकिंग लाइक अ रोज पैटल रोज पैटल द रेड कलर इज द रोज पैटल ओवर विच रैश इज लुकिंग लाइक अ ड्यू ड्रॉप ड्यू ड्रॉप बिकॉज ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेशन द बैकग्राउंड इज द रेड बट हियर देर इज नो रेडनेस नो रेडनेस सो इन चिकन पॉक्स ड्यू ड्रॉप ऑन द रोज पैटल अपेरेंस इज देयर बट इन स्मॉल पॉक्स देर इज नो सच अपेरेंस बिकॉज इन चिकन पॉक्स देर इज इन्फ्लेमेशन अराउंड ईच वसाइकल इन स्मॉल पॉक्स देर इज नो इन्फ्लेमेशन अराउंड ईच वसाइकल यू गॉट इट so here in chicken pox axilla is involved palms and soles are spared axilla involved palm soles are spared rather on the contrary in small pox axilla is spared and palms and soles are involved so that is the two things that you can differentiate what is involved what is what is spared here resolution is rapid in chicken pox thankfully right in small pox resolution is very slow here after 7 days scar forms here after 14 days scar forms so you can see here rapid resolution here slow resolution that's it now these differences are ultra important for your exam many you can imagine yourself how many new mcqs can be framed from this table the examiner can frame i can frame more than 20 30 mcqs in front of you if i wish i have time in front of you from this table so you should know it yes okay right now it is the only disease smallpox which is eradicated till date so only one disease in this world we have eradicated globally globally there is no single case of smallpox in the world nowadays we are trying it for other diseases the next in the row is polio polio ke liye kitna mission chal raha hai so polio is the next in the row which we are planning to get eradicated in next few decades so not immediately but your next few years or few decades we will erad eradicate polio also so government of polio ke piche padi hai polio diphtheria these are the other diseases in the row but till now only one disease is eradicated smallpox these are other which we are planning to eradicate globally not only from india it is from the globe from earth there is no single case on the earth right polio measles gunia worm diphtheria these are in the row so smallpox was eradicated on 8th may 1980 we didn't found a single case after this date in the world so this is the date the world is declared free of smallpox yesterday i have taught you the important dates you can read it yourself treatment is supportive prevention there was a vaccine available at that time but after 1980 the people are not given vaccine because virus hi nahi hai to vaccine kyu dena 
now we have covid virus so we all have taken vaccines for covid but imagine a day there is no case of covid virus in the world so would he like would we take the vaccine no it is eradicated so the disease is eradicated so before 1980 the persons your parents or grandparents my parents my grandparents they have taken the vaccine so vaccine is available but it is not given after 1980s right so we are done with variola let me come on the vaccinia 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 is not a virus it is an artificial virus it is not a natural virus it is a artificial virus which is created from variola only so in variola virus we have seen, we have we have changed only single antigen and it got converted into another artificial virus which is known as vaccinia so you will say ma'am why we are doing so why we are changing variola into a artificial virus which is known as vaccinia by changing single antigen only one antigen change one antigen change we are doing by doing so one advantage is there this is pathogenic if this enters in human it will cause smallpox it is very dangerous virus but this is non pathogenic this become non pathogenic even if this enters in human it do not cause the disease it will not cause smallpox but it is immunogenic it is immunogenic means it will create immunity the body will form antibodies against it so antibody is ki against banengi but that will work for this also so this virus can be used for making vaccines it is safe for making vaccine that's why known as vaccinia making mac vaccine vaccinia matlab making vaccine yes so that's how we have created this virus for vaccination of the smallpox in that era so we have the vaccine available i told you na vaccine available hai so vaccine banayi kisse vaccine we have created from vaccinia not from variola vaccinia vaccine for variola is created from vaccinia so vaccinia is a related virus to variola only it is created from variola only by changing single antigen give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so it is safer to work with vaccinia virus if we work on variola virus so the vaccines are created where they are created in the laboratories na so in covid ke liye abhi kitni sari laboratories hain pfizer ka laboratory ye laboratory wo so various companies have various laboratories where the technicians the doctors are working to make the vaccines so same if accidentally they got the uh, exposure of the virus the worker who is making the vaccine the the lab technician the doctor the staff so they will get the smallpox so it is very dangerous to work on that right so we have created a safe virus jisme se ki hum vaccine banayenge jisse accidental exposure bhi ho jaye to the person will not have smallpox give me a thumbs up so we have completed two viruses variola it is a natural virus which cause smallpox vaccinia it is a artificial virus for smallpox vaccination it do not cause smallpox so it is pathogenic and immunogenic but this one is non pathogenic but still immunogenic immunogenic to dono hai right how we differentiate between the two the best way to differentiate between the two is their inclusion bodies you already know what are inclusion bodies yesterday i taught you right so inclusion bodies in variola are known as pathogen bodies that is the natural virus right and inclusion bodies in vaccinia are known as binary bodies in dono pe pyq hai in your previous year question papers right in dono pe pyq hai so please don't miss pathogen and binary and don't don't um, mix them so pathogen is for variola and binary is for vaccinia variola is natural vaccinia is artificial give me a thumbs up let me come on the last molluscum contagiosum so molluscum contagiosum is the last and third important member in pox viridi family which causes disease in human right so okay here also reservoir is human transmission is direct through fomites or sexual intercourse and um, again pathogenesis is replication directly in the dermis out of all the pox viruses it is the most common pox virus which causes disease in human human mein teen hi disease karate hain only three pox virus there are 12 pox viruses i have shown you the classification out of the 12 only three causes disease in human among these three most common is molluscum contagiosum which causes disease in human because this one is eradicated and this one is artificial virus so nowadays there is no use of the first two mollus come contagiosum still exist so we have patients in our clinic which have the smallest come contagiosum so among the pox virus it is the most common virus which affects humans give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up come on right okay so mollus come contagiosum it causes a disease the name of the disease is mollus come contagiosum contagiosum disease so mollus come contagiosum virus causes mollus come contagiosum disease the name of the disease is same as that of virus only so what is this disease in this disease we have rash again we have rash but there is a peculiar thing about this rash the center of the rash is depressed if you see and zoom it out you can see the center of this rash is somewhat depressed depressed center is there right so that is known as umbilicated rash give me a thumbs up this rash is known as umbilicated rash give me a minute okay 
just a second let me see yeah i can see your chat okay so it is umbilicated rash the rash is typically so it is a ibq typical ibq in your exam so the rash can you appreciate the rash can you see the center of the rash it is depressed the center is depressed so it is an umbilicated rash that is the only important thing you should know mollusk and inside it the inclusion bodies are molluscum contiguous some bodies are known as henderson peterson bodies it is not written here but i have told you in inclusion bodies right so treatment is self limiting in immunocompromised patient you can give ritonavir and sodopovir that's it lab diagnosis tino ka common bata rahi hu for variola for vaccinia vaccinia to karata hi nahi hai and molluscum contiguous some so what is the specimen all these viruses variola causes smallpox smallpox have rash and molluscum contagiosum also causes rash molluscum contagiosum disease it also have rash so basically inside the rash you have vesicle vesicle contains fluid so take the fluid inside the vesicle just aspirate the fluid in smallpox also in molluscum contagiosum also that is your specimen so your specimen is not blood not urine not csf it is the vesicular fluid because you have rash and rash is the vesicle vesicle contains the fluid take that fluid out aspirate that fluid out and see for the uh inclusion body if the inclusion body is pastian it is variola if it is guineri it is vaccinia if it is henderson peterson it is molluscum contagiosum these three viruses are present in humans but paul pox may bollinger bodies hoti hai but paul pox is not present in humans give me a thumbs up but you can learn it it is an animals but you can learn it so these are the name of the inclusion bodies so based on inclusion bodies you can identify which virus is this so specimen is vesicular fluid after taking vesicular fluid make a slide stain the slide and see the inclusion bodies you can see guineri bodies you, these are cytoplasmic bodies you see the cell inside the cell this is the body inside the cell this is the body in the cytoplasm so these are guineri bodies in vaccinia right so you can learn like that you can do the virus isolation we, there are three ways of virus isolation now mice mein nahi karte hain aajkal animals mein we don't use it yeah egg mein egg mein which layer there are four layers in the egg na no? yesterday i taught you there are four layers in the egg the first is cam Corio allantoic membrane. The first membrane is the cam. The second is allantoic membrane. The third is amniotic cavity. Allantoic cavity, amniotic cavity, and last is yolk sac. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up, everyone. Give me a thumbs up. Sundu, Priyanka, who else? Nandini, Pradeep, everyone. So give me a thumbs up. These are the four layers. Yesterday, those who have attended my last lecture, they know the peculiar virus in each cavity. So I am asking about pox virus. Pox, the various virus, pox virus, or uh, variola, vaccinia, molluscum contagiosum, all these are grown in which cavity of the egg? I am asking to you. You have to reply. Does we grow them on cam? Does we grow them on allantoic cavity? Does we grow them on amniotic cavity, or does we grow them on yolk sac? I am asking to you. Does anyone know? Those who have attended my last lecture, they may be knowing it. Yes, the answer is right. Yes, Dr. Priyanka. So it is cam, corio allantoic membrane, right? So embryonated egg. You take a egg, right? so i have not drawn the diagram here you take a egg inside the egg there is a chick embryo there is a embryo of the egg right and there are four membranes so outermost is the cam after that there is allantoic cavity after that there is amniotic cavity and after that there is yolk sac so you take a syringe so this is your syringe in the syringe you take your specimen your specimen is vesicular fluid so this vesicular fluid you are putting in the outermost outermost cavity which is known as cam it is a membrane it is known as corio allantoic membrane put that in the cam put that in the cam and allow them to grow for the 3 days if if the specimen contains virus it will grow for 3 days and after that hatch the egg hatch the egg and take this membrane out take this membrane out so okay so if the virus is present inside the uh, specimen it will grow inside the membrane the live cells inside the membrane yes or no it will grow inside the live cells inside the membrane and on hatching this is the membrane in front of you so why can you differentiate variola and vaccinia based on the membrane looking at the membrane so my point is that my question is that this is your specimen this is your specimen now i am saying this specimen contains a virus it contains one of the pox virus right now pox virus is variola it can be vaccinia i am not talking about the third one molluscum contagiosum it can be variola it can be vaccinia you will say okay ma'am i will fill the specimen in a syringe i will take the egg this is the hand sac and i will put this specimen in the outermost layer of the egg in the outermost layer of the egg that is cam that is cam and allow the virus to grow for 2 3 days i will hatch and take the cam out is it buffering is it still buffering just a second I guess it's restarted. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, it started. I guess it started. 
right okay it's getting blurred is it okay so let me start so variola and vaccinia the two types of pox you can see on the membrane the two types of the pox so variola pox are small vaccinia pox are large the first difference you should appreciate here the first difference you should appreciate the second variola are shiny the vaccinia one are necrotic they are not shiny the variola one are convex ye na thode se convex honge where is the diagram variola wale thode convex honge these all are convex these one are flat these one are flat so you have to learn the differences these one are flat so these one are convex these one are flat these one are small these one are large these one are shiny these one are grayish and necrotic these one are non hemorrhagic these one are hemorrhagic so these are the differences for mcq purpose you should differentiate it so mcqs aate hain isme se please learn it give me a thumbs up please learn it and give me a thumbs up right so that is the differences between the pox of the variola and vaccinia not only variola and vaccinia the pox of various pox viruses can be differentiated on cam so basically we are interested in variola and vaccinia only so learn these are small these are large both of them are white but learn that the right so we are done with lab diagnosis in lab diagnosis we have done only one thing two thing number one inclusion bodies is different in different pox viruses you have learned the name of the inclusion bodies and number two ag in the hens ag in the cam all pox viruses produce pox all and the, the morphology of the pox is different in different pox viruses so looking at the pox you can identify which pox virus is it you got my point now coming on the treatment treatment is self limiting i have already told you so i am done with the first chapter pox viridi pox viridi mein i taught you three things the first thing is variola the second thing is vaccinia and the third thing is molluscum contagiosum i guess the table is ready with you everyone give me a thumbs up come on first everyone give me a thumbs up the table is ready with you should i proceed should i proceed with the poll can you see the slide now should i proceed with the poll so here is the first question in front of you yeah one more thing about molluscum contagiosum i forgot to tell you molluscum contagiosum the third one it is the only virus which cannot be cultivated you will say ma'am ag mein aapne sirf variola vaccinia kyun bataya why you have not told us molluscum contagiosum inside the ag inside that because it cannot be cultivated the only virus which cannot be cultivated is molluscum contagiosum it cannot be cultivated what are the ways of cultivating a virus it cannot be cultivated in animals cannot be completed cultivated in ag and cannot be cultivated in tissue culture which one molluscum contagiosum it cannot be so molluscum contagiosum do not produce pox on the cam so variola and vaccinia can produce other animal pox can produce but molluscum contagiosum cannot produce give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up come on everyone give me a thumbs up so that is the polls so this is the first question in front of you please read the question just now i have told you the answer tell me the correct answer let me see if i can see your answer i guess i can see read the question which of the following virus cannot be cultivated the four pox viruses are in front of you the four pox virus variola vaccinia molluscum contagiosum cowpox so rishinika you are absolutely right parag you are right yes just a second give me a minute yes so pradeep priyanka you all are right the correct answer is molluscum contagiosum so molluscum contagiosum cannot be cultivated right it cannot be grown in ags it cannot be grown in animals it cannot be grown in tissue culture so it is a non cultivable virus it is a very important mcq repeated many times in your exams you all are right very good so this is the next question in front of you small pox belongs to which class of the pox viridi pox viridi family mein i have told you four classes among which various members are present ortho pox para pox lapori pox or capri pox So what is your answer? You should know the classification of pox viridi to answer this. Does anyone know the answer? You know the classification, or you first want to see the classification? Should I should I tell you the classification? So Rishinika, Nandini, good. You are right. So what is the correct answer here? Parag, yes. So correct answer here is ortho pox. The correct answer is D. So this is the you can see this is the classification, right? So ortho pox have variola, vaccinia, cow pox, monkey pox, rabbit pox, buffalo pox. para pox have orf and para vaccinia and capri pox have diseases that occur in the other animals so it is ortho pox it is they are in ortho pox so complete classification mein it is coming so you should know the classification you should know the classification okay the next question which is repeated multiple 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 times in your previous year question papers in all exams it is asked in aims neet pg fmg sab mein pucha gaya hai ye question gwinneri inclusion bodies are seen in gwinneri inclusion bodies are seen in 
foul pox hsp molluscum contagiosum vaccinium where does it see where does it see so yes most of the students are saying only krishna swami is saying see no krishna swami does not see so guineri bodies are seen in vaccinia so learn okay i am changing the question yes the correct answer is vaccinia vaccinia next question isi mein change kar dete hain henderson peterson bodies are seen now what is your answer now what is your answer henderson peterson bodies are seen ab kya answer bologe nandini mukesh rishinika krishna swami ab kya bologe pradeep henderson peterson are seen in yes rishinika parag pradeep very good ab answer ho jayega molluscum contagiosa so basically you should know the name of the all inclusion bodies so basically variola variola vaccinia molluscum contagiosum these are the three important viruses in human or one from the animal is foul pox foul pox learn the name of inclusion body in all four mcq can come on any four variola mein the name is pastian pastian variola mein pastian bodies vaccinia mein the name is guineri bodies i don't know the spelling exactly but yeah it is guineri bodies which is our question right molluscum contagiosum mein it is henderson peterson body i am not writing it completely it is henderson peterson body and in foul pox it is known as bollinger bollinger body i guess you will never forget now so these are the four bodies on which various questions and various exams are already asked in your previous year question papers so you should know the name or options yahi char honge in the options you will get this only a b c d these are the four options if any question on the inclusion bodies is coming so that you can get confused give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up so you should know all the inclusion bodies names so coming to the so the same same table is in front of you right okay so coming to the next question following virus is the pox virus very easy question i guess everyone will be right following virus is the pox virus who will tell me the correct answer following virus is the pox virus is it variola is it coxaki is it eco virus is it hsp so you know the various members of this family so yes so rishinika mukesh good yes so krishna swami you all are right para so the correct answer here is variola variola virus is a pox virus right you should know the other virus kahan kahan pe kaun si family mein so the correct answer here is you should know the classification basically a okay the next question very 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 important asked many times in your exam umbilicated nodules are produced by which virus umbilicated means the center is depressed the center is depressed depressed you know the meaning of umbilicus i guess right so in humans on the abdomen on the abdomen in humans there is a central depression in the abdomen that point is known as umbilicus right this point this point is known as umbilicus 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 right it is a center depressed it is a depressed area depressed area so that is how the lesions are centrally depressed so in which of the following you all have already answered great so what is the correct answer here so it is it is one of the pox virus name that pox virus so umbilicated nodules are present in one of the pox virus can you name that pox virus can you exactly name is it variola is it vaccinia is it foul pox is it molluscum contagiosum which one so name that so yes you all are right so the correct answer here is molluscum contagiosum one of the pox virus so better question can be umbilicated lesions are produced and your answers now okay your options are variola vaccinia and um, you know foul pox and uh, molluscum contagiosum these are the options then you should go for molluscum contagiosum so all are pox virus but molluscum contagiosum produce umbilicated lesions so the nodulated lesions are produced by all pox virus but molluscum contagiosum produce a lesion which is umbilicated give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up okay okay the same question which pox won't grow in egg animal or in cells so it is not growing won't matlab not not which of the following pox virus not grow neither it grow in egg nor it grow in animal nor it grow in cell tino mein nahi grow kar raha which of the virus cannot be cultivated in short which of the following pox virus cannot be cultivated non cultivable virus non cultivable virus so yes you all are right this question is also repeated many times in various language ye question maine pehle bhi first question bhi yahi maine launch kiya tha so you can see the language is different the options are different but the meaning is same so virus cannot be cultivated so the correct answer here is of course molluscum it is the molluscum contagiosum which cannot be cultivated you all are right very good so non cultivable virus non cultivable virus is only one in this world so the answer is molluscum contagiosum so neither it can be cultivated in animals that is mice it cannot be cultivated in cell cultures 
and it cannot be cultivated in any of the membrane or cavity of the egg hence egg so it is non cultivable virus smallest come contagious some yes the correct answer here is d and you all are right very good very good so malus come contagious some okay the next question okay man man means humans humans right i'm talking about humans man is the primary host of which of the following pox virus so among the four options only one of the pox virus causes disease in human is it monkey pox is it orf pox is it tana pox or is it molluscum contagiosum which of the very easy question which of the following pox virus all of them are pox viruses which of the following pox virus causes disease in human only three pox viruses causes disease in human so variola vaccinia and mollus out of the three baby two he congimia because vaccinia the vaccine produce karne ke liye so only two causes disease in human variola and molluscum contagiosum out of this options have only molluscum contagiosum that's why you all are right so mukesh nandini priyanka rishmika krishna swami parag everyone is right pradeep very good very good so correct answer here is d correct answer here is d should i proceed ahead next question okay so the, the same question with a different language ye question maine pehle bhi launch kiya hai so inclusion bodies in vaccinia are known as so with a different language so is it guinnery bodies nigri bodies asteroid bodies or shapner bodies so there are many bodies in pathology you should know all bodies yes nandini you are first to answer and you are right good so nandini rishinika mukesh good everyone is right priyanka good so the correct answer is guinnery bodies we know so you should learn this table without this table paschen body molluscum molluscum contagiosum ko henderson peterson bhi kehte hain guinnery bollinger you should know right nigri bodies is in rabies right so you should know the names warden finkel day bodies are in measles you should know the name of all bodies all bodies question can come on any of the body and you should know the meaning of others right other options ke bare mein pata hona chahiye anyways you all are correct so the next question brick shaped virus which of the following is a brick shaped virus a rectangle brick means a rectangular shaped virus so is it chicken pox is it small pox is it cytomegalo virus cmv cytomegalo virus or is it epstein barr virus ebv which of the following virus is a brick shape so very easy question again a pyq previous year question in one of the exam i don't know which exam but in some exam it is already asked so yes you all are right very good very good so nandini ruthvik prishinika you all are right very good so correct answer here is small pox all pox viruses okay listen all pox virus what is my point here my point is there all pox virus family members are brick shape but chicken pox is not a pox virus it is a misnomer it is having pox as a suffix but chicken pox was not there in the classification chicken pox is one of the herpes virus one of the herpes virus i will teach you her it is also a dna virus so i will teach you herpes virus in the next lecture chicken virus is one of the herpes virus small pox is one of the pox virus then so pox virus all pox virus are, are brick shaped so don't see answer as a see answer as b everyone give me a thumbs up so correct answer is b right many of you are saying d is the answer why so ruthvik it is not d krishna swami it is not d the answer is a uh, answer is b chicken pox uh, small pox right so you got my point so it is brick shaped okay the next question is in front of you uh, a child there is a child who presented with umbilicated the clinch in the question is here umbilicated pearly lesions on the face following this mother also developed the same lesion so some disease which is transmit transmitting from child to mother identify the virus identify the virus the four options are in front of you is it one of the pox virus is it hpv virus human papilloma virus is it herpes zoster virus is it human simplex hsv virus so hsv what is it so you all are right you have started answering dr priyanka parag nandini mukesh krishna swami ruthvik you all are right so what is the correct answer here what is the correct answer yes it is one of the pox virus can you name that virus which pox virus the the person the examiner is talking about can you name that pox virus kaun se virus ki baat ho rahi hai so the some diseases there which is transmitting from child to mother right through yes so what is that virus balu what is that virus so can you name that pox virus so what is that so yes yes dr priyanka nandini it is we are talking about molluscum contagiosum how you have identified that we are talking about molluscum contagiosum because from the word umbilicated umbilicated lesions occurs only in molluscum contagiosum so the clinch in the question lies in umbilicated one so we are talking about a pox virus and clinically it is molluscum contagiosum because of the umbilicated lesions yes you all are right so we are done with pox virus one of the dna virus out of the six dna virus the first one is completed from my side pox virus is completed now the next virus i am starting is adenovirus we will complete all the six viruses one by one in this manner 
all the members of this these six families we will complete the important members in these headings only these are my typical headings you know and we will do the mcqs in mcqs i launch polls i always launch polls so polls are actually previous year questions of various exams so either they are already asked in fmg or they are asked in neat pg or they are asked in inict or they are asked before inict we have aims we have jipmer right so and we have pgi so they are asked nimhans they are asked in various exams so one of the exam it is already asked so polls are basically your previous year questions right so you should solve them anyways the next virus adenovirus out of the six dna viruses pox is completed now i'm starting with adeno but you know the link is expiring so i have to stop this lecture and rejoin the same lecture after 5 minutes so give me a break of just 2 3 minutes i will rejoin the same lecture in another link it is a free class only so but not on youtube so i am taking the same lecture on an academy an academy learners app an academy learners app so i hope most of the students already installed this app if someone has not installed this app please go to the play store install this app it is free you can install this app free of cost and after installing select the category as neat pg neat pg is a category in which all the medical stuff is present so if you want to study any medical subject from mbbs for any competitive exam select the category as neat pg select the goal as neat pg after that you can see my lecture there live at 10 am sharp 5 minutes after 5 minutes so it is 5 minutes to 10 now so at sharp 10 am you can see me live so catch me live there right the one who is coming first time on the platform they will require a code the lecture is free the lecture is free but you will require a code to attend it the code is sachdev 10 that is my surname sachdev dr priyanka sachdev s a c h d e v s a c h d e v sachdev 10 is the code you can unlock any free lecture on an academy using this code so i ask all the learners all the viewers to distribute this code on your batch groups to seniors juniors to all the medicos throughout the world throughout the globe this code so that everyone can get benefit of the free knowledge which is flowing on an academy so it is to unlock the free lectures on an academy the code is this it is such deep that so come on the app we will continue the lecture thank you very much for being with me here there are few announcements on an academy let me do those announcements and then you people can join me there so thank you very much for being with me i really enjoyed with you don't forget to write your feedback in the comment box i uh, uh i really enjoyed teaching you right okay next class is just after 5 minutes on an academy app i'm continuing dna viruses adeno virus there don't forget to follow my profile link on an academy if you want to get notifications 10 minutes before the class so the code i have already taught you the code to unlock is such dev tan so yeah one more important announcement an academy is conducting neat pg 2022 all india mock test which is going to happen on 17th april 9 am in the morning so i request all the students to give this test to see their performance their rank prediction so you should see where you are standing you should learn from your mistakes before the exam an academy light is the test series of the an academy which is already out you can purchase the test series you can take the subscription an academy prof one is already out all the first prof student they can get benefit from these subscriptions you should take this subscription the team will help you preparing mbbs prof exam university exam and the next for anatomy physiology and biochemistry right okay uh, on an academy we have two type of paid subscription in plus subscription you will get only an academy in iconic along with an academy we will provide you prep ladder also so once you take the subscription you will be eligible for all these batches by top most educators of india these are the various plans available with the team in plus these are the plans in iconic these are the plans in light subscription these are the plans in plus you will get only an academy in iconic along with an academy you will get prep ladder also in light you will get only test series so you can see the plans you can see the duration you can see the prices of the corresponding plans the longer the plan cheaper it is so if you are a first prof second prof student go with a longer plan it will be more cost effective for you but if you don't want to take uh, a longer plan you can take as small as 2 months also you can give a trial if you like it you can extend it right any plan you are purchasing before payment don't forget the code if you apply the code before payment the same code such dev 10 you will get maximum discount you will get 10% discount authentic discount from the team so before payment don't forget to apply the code s a c h d e v so the summary is that the code is useful by for all students s a c h d e v such dev 10 code is useful for all students whether you want to watch only free classes do not want to take 
paid subscription or whether you want to take the paid subscription if you want to watch only free classes you can unlock all free classes using this code and if you want to take paid subscription you can you can get discount by using this code so please distribute this code to every medico in the world thank you very much bye bye study hard and uh, i want to see you all just after one minute on the app bye bye i'm ending this lecture and joining there on the app